In Zentangle artwork, sometimes when you're trying to color shapes, the color process doesn't work unless you do a couple of things. And sometimes it's gonna be different things. For instance, on some of these shapes, and I'm gonna open up the artist's clip group here, we have this shape that's over here on the upper right. So let me zoom in. Okay, I'm going to um, click on the circle for that shape and I may want to add another shape on the bottom of this one to color the white area because I've gone into the shape right now and they're, um, they're strokes. That's all they are and each one of those shapes has no fill. So we're going to have to create a fill in order to recolor the fill. And I'm just going to make it white for now and then use, um, use the recolor artwork window to, um, to recolor the background. But let's first color the black strokes. Now let's see if we can recolor them just by doing the normal click on the circle, edit, edit colors, recolor artwork. And now um, right here, the only problem in not coloring these strokes here was the fact that the artist had to click on that, on that line. But this is what I want all of you to do first. I want you to make sure that over here it's not on auto. I want you to go to all, all right? Just go to all. On the very first shape you do, make it say all. Now turn off and on the recolor button. Close, say okay, close the window. And now go right back into the window. And you can click on this line. And now it allows me to recolor it. Now there's another process I may have to go through with some of these and I am going to show you that process too. So now I can click on the black square. I have my arrow. I can take the saturation away. I can actually bring off the color and make it any color I want. Okay. So I'm going to click OK. Now here's how I would actually um, add a color to the background. So I'm going to have to draw for a second. If the student doesn't want the white back there and they want a color, this is what they're going to have to do. So I'm going to lock up all the other items that are in here except that particular shape. See it? Okay. Now I'm going to take and leave this selected and whatever I draw is going to go way down here to the bottom underneath everything. Right now it's going to start being on top and that's okay. So I'm taking the P key I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to, and this is what you may have to do. Look at how I'm going to take this and um, I have to control Z back because um, I need to lock up everything, not the parent group, not this, but I'm going to lock everything inside so my pen doesn't think I want to touch any one of these. So yeah, it looks like I have a lot of stuff locked up, but I left the layer unlocked. See the layer? It's unlocked. Now in the pen tool, now I can't click on anything else but the shape I'm actually drawing. And I'm going to take the stroke away for now. So let me just move this over using my pen tool capabilities. Let me zoom in and just quickly draw a big, 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 big thing that the only accurate part was going to be what I just drew. So look at how I can just come around the whole thing like this and join it in. Now, I want to add a white fill to it. That's important. So I'm going to click the fill color and make it white. Now, look, I have to find where it went. See it way up there? See it right there? I have to actually move it down into the bottom. Look at this. I have to move it all the way to the bottom of that group. Now, I can go into the recolor edit window. Once I unlock all of these shapes right here, okay, I'm unlocking all of them inside that shape number 10 that I've added a big fill to and I click the circle. Now when I go into edit, edit colors, recolor artwork, there will be a white one. Now I can click the white one. I can actually add saturation to it and I can alter the color. So let's now go in and alter the fill. So um, let me see what I'm doing here and why it's not coloring. Oops, look, I didn't click the line. It's still a line. Even though I, even though I told it to be white to purple, do you see how it didn't until I actually click this right there? 
and for some reason it's not it's not letting me do it so I have to figure out why isn't it letting me do it all right so I'm gonna say okay on it and I'm gonna try to do it again so I may actually have to click on that piece all by itself which is a white fill so now I'm gonna try number two so this is what I you sometimes you just have to do in in Illustrator it should allow me to color it I shouldn't have to click on it right now with a white fill and um, just add a color here yes it would color it here but I want to see if the edit color window actually works in the white fill so now do you see how I clicked on it all by itself do you see the arrow the arrow is there so now I can actually add a color I can actually take it and make it any color I want and you can see by now using this the original color is still white but now I've used the edit recolor artwork window to color it that color and I know it's ugly but whatever so now let's go do another shape um, let's go do these squirrely things here this may be another problem that we may have if the artist wants to have a color in the background so I'm gonna close this and there's one other thing that I want to introduce you to. So I always lock up everything, okay? So now let me find that shape. Uh, that's not it. Uh, that is it. So now I have this one here. So now this one consists of two groups. So let me click them. Okay, they're pretty big. Now I want you to also see something that if you still cannot color something, here is what you have to do, okay? leave it selected and I'm gonna do it for this shape leave it selected go into object expand or it may be expand appearance that may be actually able to be clicked on but I'm gonna expand this one's appearance both in the fill and the stroke and click OK now if I hadn't been able to color it before I will be able to color it now so let's go into edit edit colors recolor artwork and you can see there's an arrow by the black okay and there's no white so I'm gonna have to do the same thing to that shape by making a large rectangle in the back and just making it part of that group all right that'll work fine so now let's desaturate it let's add a different color to this and make it um, something what is changing here Oh, no, that's changing, fine. So I have now a teal green there. That's, I, I was looking at something else. Now, inside that group, which is this one, Brian? No, it's this one, I'm sorry. I wasn't even paying attention. So inside shape nine, I have to kind of try to make a shape that's gonna be um, underneath this group, all right? So let's just see how bad it's gonna be. I may, what I mean by that is, I may have to actually do some custom path edits so I'm just gonna make a rectangle underneath it like this alright and I'm going to take that and again I'm going to make it white now see it way up there I need to move it right down right there now um, it ended up covering this shape right here and I think that's the shape right there because I needed to actually draw it better than I did so I'm gonna delete it so what I would need to do here is to take my pen tool and actually come I think this is gonna work but if it's not then the artist is gonna have to try to figure out something a little bit different in the shape so I'm gonna try to come like this um, let me take the fill away so I can actually see what I'm drawing and now look at how I'm kind of making my path let me take that path and let's use our drawing techniques to actually now make a rectangle that works so let me come up here um, okay this may not work and I'm going to show you why um, um, let me just finish drawing and I just want to see if this is going to work and I'll tell you the reason why it's not working. It's because of layer order. That's why. 
okay so I'm just gonna come around the bottom here and now I've made kind of a custom shape but you see this um, what looks like black flower petals that layer is lower than the one that I'm working on so I may be covering up that piece um, without wanting to so I'm gonna double click this make it white again and yes I did cover it up so I may take shape number nine and move it underneath everything here and that would solve everything I'm trying to do so I'm gonna take this path and move it down below here now I'm gonna take shape number nine and move it to the bottom and I think that worked fine actually I think that worked great okay now I can go in and recolor that shape so again I'm gonna click on that circle inside to see how I clicked on that shape which is the big white rectangle go into edit edit colors recolor artwork in the way that I want you to yes there's an arrow there yes I can come up like this and I can recolor that artwork and make it as saturated as I want or whatever color I want so that is something that um, now we can solve and that's kind of pretty so there we go all right so let's go lock up that shape and let me try another shape that I may have to expand the appearance on so what I like to do is to try to color these black petals so um, let's lock up everything else let's open the black petals and here is a group so everything is colored inside this but the black so I'm gonna try first to recolor the black petals I'll make them some other color but I'm gonna try I may have to do a couple of different things so if I click on the black yes the and the artist may have just wanted to leave this black which is fine but there is an arrow there now if the arrow wasn't there just go up and click that line um, remember at the beginning I said put it on all and I said recolor it turn on put the check mark on and off click OK and then go right back into the window that sometimes lets all the colors be recolored so now if I wanted to I'm just gonna resaturate it and you can see how I can make it any color I want and I know the artist isn't happy with what I'm doing but I'll just leave it like that okay um, so that should be a little trick to show you how to do everything there now I'm interested in these lines here and you can stop this movie if you want that's fine but I'm gonna click on this one which that's those aren't the lines these are the lines nope that's not it either let's go to here nope which one is it it's this one okay so there it is right there it's this one right there let's go inside click on the circle now the arrow just may be there all right and this is another one that I would have to draw a shape on if I wanted to color the background behind it with a new shape but let's just go in and see if we can quickly do this and then I'll end this movie so um, I really wanted you to see that you need to put it on from um, auto to all all right and now the arrow is appearing I can click it on and off and now I can desaturate it I can click the color and you can see how I can change it to any color I want okay so that should be working I can't color the white background because there is no shape there to color I would have to redraw that shape and put it below this this um, group right here but inside shape number seven you follow what I mean there okay so that should be a nice little trick for us to get um, stuff done and um, let you color every color in there in case the artist didn't want to have anything left over that's black. I hope that helped.